Have you ever wanted your shard runs to look like this one right here? Seven epic shards, one resplendent, two rare and two uncommon. I did this in Crimson Waste just the other day and I feel like I could repeat it over and over. Now, this one says it took 40 minutes. Honestly, I was on my phone half the time. I could pull this off in 20 minutes, especially if I had even better heat map augments. And that's probably the last thing you expected to hear, heat map. Well, it's a big game changer in this new update. And if you wanna learn how to get shards just like this in the overworld, I'm gonna show you how right now. So stay tuned till the end of the video. So the first thing here I'll show you is I had a stream the other day and basically what I did was I went around to every single node in Abyssal Basin. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is if you wanna go hard for shards, Crimson Waste is much smaller and will definitely help you get it better. Although there may be more nodes in Abyssal Basin and I might, I'll might describe why that's important, but that might also help you get them. So basically I went through and I found every single node and there's two to three different kinds you wanna look out for, okay? Firstly, do not touch Tectonic Neovite, okay? It might have some pretty decent stuff, but it's gonna destroy all your energy and you're not gonna get any shards out of it. Next, Seismic Quartz. That is the mega node for shards. Now, I don't have conclusive details on if they're gonna find a Seismic Quartz every single time you do a run, and that's why I wanted to check every node to see if it always existed. So far, every time I've checked every node and from other people I've spoken to, there has always been a Seismic Quartz. So even if it's not guaranteed, I'd say you have about a 50-50 at least that a seismic quartz is going to exist. I'm going to show you what comes out of them soon, but you're not going to believe it. Next is do a stage three run. Now I've done a lot of the maths and I've figured out all the numbers. I will tell you the stage two runs aren't that bad. Stage one, you're going to get killed, a handful of commons at best. Stage two, you can do okay, but you're not gonna get that many epic or any resplendent shards. And a stage three, you should do surprisingly well every time if you follow this right here. So as you can see, I checked out this entire heat map and I did it again in Crimson Waste. Here's one side of the heat map. You can see there's only a couple of things in that section and there's a ton of stuff in the heated section, especially down one column. Now my heat map upgrade was at about 95, I think it was. So. Don't forget that if you upgrade your heat map, it's gonna help with this. And that's the first thing I'm gonna recommend you do. Upgrade your heat map. You can do detection range as well. It's less important. Once you have that heat map upgraded, you, it will be much faster for you to find those condensed pockets of ores, run through them. And as soon as you get close, okay, if you can see it even through your visor, when you get close, it will actually reveal it on the map. You don't need to walk up to it. So you can just run past like 10 of them, Look on your map and see if any of the nodes appeal to you. It is just that simple. It will speed up your runs and getting shards in the overworld that much faster. So now we're gonna take a look at the seismic quartz. Once I found all the different rocks, I went through and I did the seismic quartz first. Here is what came out of it. We're gonna go through this one. An epic and a rare off the bat. <laughs> An epic, now they don't have guaranteed shards, especially in stage two and stage one, but in stage three, it pretty much seems to be 99% shards, to be honest. Um, resplendents can come out of this fairly common, but they don't come out as much as you might think, and you might not get more than one, but that's fine. You can usually get a host of epic shards in this, and I'll show you the seismic quartz uh, for the other one as well. You can get other nodes, but it's pretty much all shards. From this one, you could see four epics, two commons and two rares. These seismic quartzes are what you want to go for if you're doing a shards run. However, there is one other type of node that you might not know about. So that type is albite. Now, many of you might be saying, oh, but Scoriox Lazarite is the shard node. And you'd be right, it's pretty good. But albite seems to have a lot of different resources at the higher end of the spectrum. And since epic shards seem to be counted as a much better thing than say Selenvium or whatever those higher end ores are, it seems to find them more often on a stage three. So that's the crazy part. Albite ore finds a lot of high-end stuff, right? On a stage one and a stage two, that might be your high-end ores, but on a stage three run, that's your epic shards, your resplendent shards, and even your rare shards are also in that bracket quite confidently. So the albite ores are really good for shards on your stage three run. For a stage two, Lazarite and Albite are probably about equal, but Albite's still pretty good. And on a stage one, again, I would probably pre preference the Lazarite shards, but I wouldn't even bother with Seismic Quartz. They're 
I've had garbage luck with them on stage one and two. Go for them on stage three and Albite as well. And I'll show you the rest of the Albite shards before we wrap this up. So you can see this one here gave me an epic shard. This one here didn't give me much, but gave me some pretty good gems. This Albite gave me an epic and uncommon, which is something you still barely see from a, <laughs> from a Lazarite. This Albite gave me a, <laughs> a rare, epic and resplendent. And these were all the Albites I did in that Crimson Waste run. Now, maybe I got super lucky. I don't think so. The statistics I've created haven't said so. If you want to learn more about those stats, like and subscribe down below and it will come in a future video. Sorry, this isn't zoomed in very much. The Albite or Go for it if you want to get shards on a stage three, pretty much. And this was the seismic quartz I get. Not that great, but here was the overall result like I showed you before. Seven epics, one resplendent, two rare, and two uncommon just from doing four albite ores and one seismic quartz. That is all you need to do. There weren't actually any lazarites on the map at the time. Otherwise, I probably would have tried to do them too. It really is that simple. Okay, I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys get lots of shards. Leave a comment down below if you use this trick and you found it really good. Let's see if you can get 10 epic shards in one run. I definitely think it's possible with this strategy. Have a good day, everyone.